professor, I would test you in the worst way. Don't bring a scantron, it's pop quizzes all day. Cause of our chemistry, we do biology. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail, man. The color purple, man. You know, not part two, but the reboot, right? And I wonder, it's like, you know, how is part two of this propaganda going, going to go over now? Because in this current, in, in this current society, I've seen a, a, a decline in... Hmm. Sincerity. I've seen a lot of disingenuous entertainment. And, uh, you know, lackluster uh, innovation. You know, there's a lot of remakes. And, but when it comes to this, when I saw the trail, I was thinking to myself, it's not going to, it's not going to hit the way y'all think. I remember when For Color Girls came out. And that was just a problem. Just in my opinion, that was a problem. Um, it was a sombering movie. The Color Purple was entertaining when I was a child, but you know, when you grow up and you find out it was, it's a, it, you know, it was a book that people thought was true that was based on a lie, and the depictions were inaccurate. But they, but you needed the villain. That's all. It, that's part of movies, though. But then when you saw how it impacted the relationships between black men and black women in the community, then it became a, this is a problem. So when I look at the trail, I'm like, here we go. Let me guess. You know, oh, because as a man, I don't think like a woman, but I'm looking at the programming from afar. Let me guess. We're going to go with the colorism thing one more time. You get what I'm saying? Let's get the, let's get the, let's, let's get the, 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 you know, the light and the dark thing one more time. Oh, let's get the, you know, the, the, the next he was oppressive in Jim Crow, you know, Reconstruction era, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. The black men are evil. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. And, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not I don't know the movies when it's coming out. I'm pretty sure they're probably going to throw the old lesbianism 101 in there, bigger than it was in the first one, you know. So now it's going to be some girl-on-girl -girl action that, 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 that's retrofitted for 2023. Um, I'm pretty sure the abusive wife trope <laughs> is still going to be comic relief, you know. Um, and let's just see how they play the, play the role of, you know... Um, when the black folks do it, it's enemies. But when the white folks do it, you just got to let it go. Because it's white folks. You can follow instructions. With black. You can't follow instructions when black people tell you what to do. But when white people tell you what to do, you can do it. Let, let's just see how that part goes. Um, and the reason why I bring this up is because I think the propaganda is a little bit different now. I think it's a little bit more difficult to play this propaganda game because ultimately what we're talking about is people who are really reaching to see themselves in, in characters that 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 are based in a lie that they thought was true. And relationships that, that people have an issue with. Like, you know, you know, oh, this, this, you see why these relationships are like this? Because of this movie. And, you know, with, with marriage rates, the way they are, uh, single mothers, you know, being a certain percentage and men not having as many kids as women and women dating out, you know what I'm saying, having more kids outside the race than, than men do. It, it's... You know, and the whole colorism and the whole Me Too and the whole woke and the whole Black Lives Matter thing, like, and and all of the societal shenanigans that are going on with women that 
You know, they're doing all the wrong things in society and on social media and being praised for it to the point that you have the, the modern, regular, everyday woman being completely out of pocket, you know, and trying to say it came from this back in the day. You know, it, 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 all of this, a lot of this um, rebelliousness came from, you know, watching Color Purple and and uh, waiting to exhale and, you know, fast forward, to, you can go to Fences or, um, uh, what is that movie? For Color Girls, one of them, but they, re they rebooted that too, but what is that doggone movie? Um, Fences for Color Girls, uh, da, 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 da. what's love got to do with it, you know? So the relationship dynamic is, is based in that. And the interesting thing is, I don't think, you know, because I remember, I don't, I don't think women have this, can have the same story now that women had then, because y'all really not getting, y'all more, y'all just as much into women as y'all are men. So the issues that you might have with, with, with bad relationships go really on both genders now. So. You know, I, I don't think these this younger generation will be able to see themselves in this these characters in the storyline, and in the sense of the men being the villain because that's not actually how it has been working in society. You been people are reaching for that, but it's kind of been a women on women hate thing for for the longest. But you know, tell me what you think, what you see when it happens. We shall see. You know how it ends up, but. That's my thoughts. Uh, like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You ever been Something at the top of the universe? I'm going to tell you. <laughs>